Well, I did find a quick way to fix that bug. Yeah, I was gonna say, why is it quality? 1080p. It should be good quality. I've already sent out the tweet. Uh, apparently I had a problem with my stream deck just a second ago, so that's been cleared up. I think. I hope. Anyway, evening folks. No, oh, I'm gonna move that over there. Alright. Let me move my mic. Alright, so as I said in the last episode, by the way, good evening folks, and welcome back to another episode of Breath of the Wild. Uh, as I said in my last episode, I was going to, in this episode, set up for the various, um, stories. So, for instance, like, I gotta go to Zora's Domain here. Basically, my objective is get on the temple and immediately warp off. And I should be able to just warp back at any time. That's the plan. I don't know how true that is. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm I've been having a blast with it, playing through this game again, which is why I've just been nonstop playing it. So I'm having too much fun with it. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, you own the shop here. Is there anything here I particularly need to buy? 109 arrows in inventory. Really? Wow, yeah, we are up to 109. Kick ass. Uh, Hylian Rice. Oh, yeah, this is the blacksmith that makes good stuff. If you ever lose that ceremonial spear that I was using in the last episode, and you really need it back, because, in all honesty, I found it just exploring the water. And then used it, and then found out about that quest, and was like, ah, shit, dude. Wish I knew that earlier. Um, he can actually remake it, but it requ requires, like, a Zora spear and some other stuff. So it's not too easy to get another one, so try not to destroy it, but if you do lose it, you can get another one. I don't think either of you give a quest. So... You old bastard. Oh, you're the guy that I stole a shocker from. Good luck. You're gonna fucking die, but GLHF. You look awesome. Love the color. We used to play together all the time. Oh. I mean, technically I have all my memories back, so I should know you. But, uh... I, as the player, have no goddamn clue who you are. Alright, so. I forgot that I have a bunch of equipment. I need to equip wherever the hell it went. There we go. Oh man, there's so many enemies on this waterfall. It'd be a shame if I just, you know, flew over all of them. See, uh... How's it going there, buddy? Thank you, computer. Why do you continue to do that? I... It's really starting to bug me that it does that. My computer will just randomly decide, mm, We've lost connection to your USB hub, and then, of course, it reconnects. One of the things I have plugged in is an external hard drive, so it immediately then opens the folder. 
I'll see if I notice that all of these, uh, all these trees have shock arrows stuck in them. And up here is a guaranteed Lionel spawn. Now, if you recall in the last episode, I have to take a picture of it. Where? There we go. We have the red beard Lionel taking a picture and now on the compendium too. So I can actually hunt Lionels should I need to. Which, P.S., I will need to. I will need many Lionel parts to uh, assist with making, I believe it's the Berserker set. Which is sad because it's one of my favorite sets. Now, they recommend that after you get your shock arrows, because you don't have to fight him, by the way. You can just run up here and grab some shock arrows. Which, also, you don't even have to do this, by the way. This is just to give you shock arrows, which, if you already have a bunch, which I have 70 of now. I just figured, hey, it's free shock arrows. Why not, right? I don't know if there would be any more shock arrows in the tree. Alright, so, as far as it goes, uh, Lynels are pretty hard to kill. So, couple things. A, equip for defense. Yeah, these are all the highest pieces I can... You know what? We'll go full on that. Uh, cold resist, I really don't have to worry that much about... We're going to equip the good bow, and I need to save that weapon, because that is for something else. We're going to go in with this. And then we're going to save, actually. That's that's also a very good idea. Alright, should shit hit the fan. We should be fine. I got plenty of food on me. I'm fully equipped in my best gear. I can't find the bastard. I can hear the bastard. Face me! You just gotta bait out the attack. Bait out the attack. I may have killed a few Lionels in my day. Ow. Alright, well we pegged each other. I really do hate that attack. It's really annoying to dodge. Uh, camera? What the fuck was that? Thank you. As I say, this attack is normally very easy to get a flurry rush off of because the entire time he's charging you is considered an attack state in which you can flurry rush. I just, for some reason, the lock-on was like, I, I know you're holding L, but we're not going to lock on. Swing. Okay, that for all intents and purposes should have nailed me in the fucking side of the head, but it didn't. And I'm going to... Uh, Shock that up under awesome. You're gonna breathe fire at me. See ya. Not what I wanted. What I wanted. Oh, fuck. Bomb arrows don't work. Oh, I'm about to eat that. Alright, I tried. Alright, I was in midair. Fuck you. I side jumped, but okay. I guess I'll just eat that too. I. Uh, what the fuck? I hit jump in midair for the paraglider in an updraft that's supposed to updraft me. You fuck. 
Do I have any junk food I can equip? I can eat? Yeah, there we go. Doubled hitting jump creates an updraft. Cool, I missed completely. Just fight me normally, dude. Alright, I jumped, but I guess not. I love how sometimes the jump doesn't, like... That you were supposed to backstep when you sidestepped. Well, guess you're gonna eat a sword in the face. Fuck you. How? I, I, I don't even know how he just did that because normally the electrical explosion that disarms me only happens when it hits water. And I mean, yeah, I know it's raining. Technically, it's a wet surface, but I didn't think it was still going to do it. Master Sword's power has been restored. A little fucking late for that. I'm going to kill you. I will take however long it needs to take. Also, I don't have to kill him. I want to kill him. That's fine if it breaks. I have more than one. Reasons why we save these. Also, they're not like Guardians where they have like eight different forms. I have no idea what just happened with you. Oh, he's dead. We win. Poof. Alright, first off, I want to take a picture of all of his weapons. So I can find them again. Specifically the bow. You... I was going to say, I don't think you can take a picture of the body parts. Yeah. Oh, the bow is only a 10 times 3. Maybe this one is. That's still 30. In all honesty, what I should have done... Well, no, never mind. Bomb arrows didn't work. That's right. I tried that. All right, this is just a basic Lionel Sword. This isn't the uh, Lionel Sword, like, plus or plus plus. So, this is nowhere near as bad. That being said, that was also just a normal Lionel. That wasn't a... Uh, like the super Lionel piece of shit I gotta deal with later. That I'm gonna have to farm for. That's gonna be delightful. Where is this chest? Is there one underground and I'm dumb? Because it says I'm like walking towards the damn thing. But I don't see nothing. That was not at all what I wanted you to do, Link, you fucking moron. When I say do a drop attack, you drop. You don't fucking leap forward somehow. Which, by the way, begs the question, how did he leap forward? What possibly gave him more forward fucking momentum? Well, you missed, bitch. No. This time I'm going to make sure I land before I pull out my weapon, because for some reason that needs to be specified. I like how even with attack plus 10, that is still not higher than what I have equipped. Fucking useless. Moving on. None of you have a box. I don't know what that just was. That was not a stutter on the stream. That was the entirety of the game stopping.
Where am I? I'm on the dead center of the spire. Is it this prime? No, that must be this one. There it is. There we go. I figured while I'm up here. There's another one I believe right here on this bowl. Yep, ow. Bit of fall damage, but I got it. Yay. Oh yeah, that's what was in that. I mean, a crit or a spear. Crit on any spear is not bad, but only 9 damage, so... What's up? You should go to that mountain. Oh, be careful of the Lionel, though. I cannot guarantee you will... So Bitch, I will drop Lionel parts at your feet. Be like, hey, here's a Lionel stomach. Why? Because fuck that Lionel. Which is funny, because he's apparently shock arrowing and instantly killing the Zoras and has been plaguing them for a while. And I just murdered him. So, there's that. And you want a picture of a Lionel? So, how's that Lionel missile going? I, I've got a picture. I've also got a souvenir. You want a foot or an organ? Oh shit, that's how I get the boots. I was wondering why I remembered that mission so vividly. It's an important mission. Uh. <laughs> I now have the full uh, Zora set. Goal. Cool. Oh, equipping them just makes you swim faster. I mean, that's not bad. Not incredible, but not bad. Uh, where was I going with this? Uh, no, we're doing main story right now. We are doing... Varuta. There we go. Now I have to get to the top of that big fucking thing. By the way, this is the giant dam they say is threatened to be broken by the never-ending rain. Which begs the question, what the hell? Because, I, I, A, how does this elephant have infinite water created? Like, I can understand that it might, you know, be able to pick up water and throw it around because it's an elephant and they do that. That's fine. That's not up for debate. The part that I'm debating is how does it have infinite water? If it's taking water from this lake and pouring it back into this lake, then the water level of the lake will never change. Why am I eating these mushrooms when I have 79 apples? Just to top off the health bar. Hey, Sidon. They say you have to have at least four shock arrows. You can do this with... Or, sorry, 20. Uh, you need to have at least 20 shock arrows. You can do it with four. Have your Zora... Do you have your Zora armor and enough shock arrows? Yeah, I'll be fine. Let us go in a piece of divi divine beast. Here we go. You're not wearing a Zora armor. Unless you have enough shock arrows and your Zora armor, we cannot possibly. Please hurry. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. We'll do it right. Are we going to do the exact same cutscene? Or is it just going to immediately... Nope. nope. Glad to see you ready to go. Yeah, this time I'm in the Zora armor. Cool, exact same cutscene. Yeah, I'm good. Here we go. 
So basically, we're gonna ride this bitch. Oh, that's why I need that. Alright, so, a couple things I need in this fight. I... Come on. Give me control. Yeah, I understand this. Alright, ancient mysterious power against this. Hurling giant ice blocks that you'll need to watch out for. I shall leave those to you. Yeah, it's... Literally, it's just this. Say yep. Back in the water. Hold on, and we continue, and we do it again. Any shocker. Bitch, I got like 80. Get the fuck over there. By the way, you just have to hit A to swim upward. And then it's like, wee. Done. Like I said, you only need four. And then you hit A. And you get all your stamina back. And then the game slows way the hell down. I don't know why they do this. I believe the assumption is, oh, that I accidentally missed and put down a fucking ice spire, which turned out to be useful. Coolio. Done. Alright, tried to hit A on that. Oh, so if it hits me, he gets it back. Yeah, you're not hitting me twice there, pal. I got any shock arrows. I mean, if I didn't have shock arrows, would we really be here, Sidon? Would we really? Oh, whoops. Alright, time for a challenge shot. Got it. I realized I was in the wrong waterfall, but it was already too late, and I was like, oh, I have to account for drop-off now. Can we get it? Still got it. Four shots. Four hits. Here we are. Looks like this is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. Oh. One's already on Vibrant, good. I figured during this cutscene I would do that, but it appears I already have.
I do believe that immediately as I enter this place, there will be a terminal I can interact with that will activate the ability to fast travel here. Desk, you stay exactly where the hell you are. It's funny too, because I was watching an episode of Markiplier earlier. He was playing a, a VR game, and he went to adjust his microphone and took the like the entire microphone arm just snapped off of his desk, and he's like, "Oh God." And I'm now I'm dreading that it might happen to me. I really hope it doesn't, but it might. There we go. Travel get registered to map. This is what I wanted to do. The guidance stone there contains the information that you will need. Alright, so this is the water temple. This is us leaving the water temple. I do believe that I can at any point in time go on the map and just pop back in. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it should just be a fast travel point. Alright, cool, we're done here. Um, well, we're not done, done, you know what I mean? We, we're going to have to do that. I didn't get the fucking... Ugh. I didn't get the shrine for Goron City. I'm dumb. Alright, well, we got to go explore Goron's Death Mountain for a bit. That being said, it's not that big a deal. I enjoy it. Oh man, what a coincidence. We get to tip on burning things as we're entering the fucking volcano. Alright, so, first up, make myself fireproof. Where's my bandana? There we go. Ready for the mountains. Also, I need to get rid of that one. Uh, that one's for... Yeah, that's for Rito Village. So that's a... See ya. So, we gotta get to Goron City. And get the divine... Or, get the shrine there. Sorry. And then, I don't know who I have to talk to to start the storyline. I'm assuming the Elder, because that's pretty much what you have to do in every goddamn village. Is you have to talk to whoever runs the goddamn place. And then they're like, oh yeah, the Divine Beast. You're going to help us destroy it? Fucking cool. Still don't have a sludge hammer. Oh, goddamn Korok. I was hoping it was a box. Yay! Have a rock, you piece of shit.
So I think that a Lionel would have, or a, uh, actually. Better weapon. That a fucking Lizzlefos would have a better weapon than a Lionel. It's just unheard of. Why did I put a Death Skull over there? Oh yeah, that's right. That's where that lava rock monster was that I just totally fled from. Cause fuck that noise. Ah yes, and then we're here. Ain't there a sledgehammer here for free? Before I start swinging on stuff. Damn it, I needed those. I forgot about them. Why did I forget about them? I'm dumb. Who here's got a sledgehammer? I'm pretty sure one of y'all is hiding a sledge with my name on it. There's the sledge. That's what I needed. Some salt. About to go play some fucking Xbox Live. I need me some salt for that. The fuck? Oh, I touched that for a sec. About to go play Call of Duty with the 13 year olds. We're gonna need some salt. It's one of the bright sides of this place. It can never rain. The heat will evaporate the rain before it hits. So. Hey. What's up, little dude? A oh, hi, Leon. No, I'm a figment of your imagination. The heat's getting to you. Yeah, bye. I wish I could help. <laughs> They're all like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm using a sledgehammer to crush ore. I know what you guys do? Fuck. Why are you looking at me like I just shit on you? That being said, people don't respond well to you actually fighting. Or attacking, for that matter. Which is kind of annoying, because as previously stated, it's not like you're... I was literally swinging on ore with a sledgehammer that I will use to break ore, so I don't really see the problem myself but that's that's just me in my opinion um what weapon do i want to use uh i want to say no master sword it's not the shittiest weapon i have why are you over here by the guardian sword i love that but it's very strong it's 24 damage this one's 40 i mean granted this one's also an ancient weapon from a very powerful enemy but, I mean, the Lionel Sword is also from a very powerful enemy. Granted, I think the Lionel that you fight, which, by the way, that Lionel that we fought is the lowest level Rhino. Lionel, sorry. I don't know why I said Rhino. Uh, it's the lowest level Lionel you can ever fight. So, with how annoying it was, they only get harder. Welcome to Lionels. I fucking hate them. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Use that fucking air jet to steal from the chests over here. Because it's probably gonna be like four moblins. Oh, they're not white though. They should be actually easier to kill. That being said, I don't care. I'm just coming in to loot. There's no chests? In that case, we will assassinate. Oh, that's bad. Oh, okay. Whew. We saved it. We saved it with the glider. I, I honestly, I thought I was just fucked. I was like, ah, oh, there's no way I'm recovering from this. I hit the, the glider button in hope, and it worked. Yep. 
That was purely hope. But it worked. If I'm not mistaken, the enemies that you encounter are determined by multiple variables. Uh, one of which is whatever your maximum possible defense is. And I think it's uh, also based on what your highest heart counter is. So like for instance, you won't encounter gold Lynels because they're way too tough. Until you have at least, I think, something like 10 hearts and 25 defense. Which if I actually go to where I know Lynels to be, I'm fairly certain I can encounter one or two. God, Lionel farming was never fun. It was just go to like the four areas I know Lionels are, murder them, set up a campfire, and then rest repeatedly until, uh... Oh wait, that's right, I wanted uh, to cook some apples. Okay, I was going to say, this takes a bit. But, I mean, now what I can do... ...is this. Okay. There's apparently an upper limit to how many items that we can have on the floor. It's 10. Because those apples just cease to exist. Either that or I let them cook too long. But I don't think I did, considering how quick I am with this. But yeah. Who needs a fire when you can cook apples on a volcano? I know. A tad extreme. But hey. It's free money. I mean, I'm sure there's actually easier ways to make money in this game. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure they exist. Before you ask, yes, I am intending to go back to the R Rito village and just feed all of... Well, not feed, but uh, sell these to the woman because she's just like, I love baked apples. And I'm like, well, I have a hundred apples. Let me bake a bunch of them and just give them to that woman. And that's the intention. Also, the ostrich. Oh, that is the wrong arrow to be using. There we go. Alright, well, now I'm, now I'm angry because I missed. Can you stop? Thank you. No, no, no. Oh, okay, well, that was fucking me shooting a moving target. Not one of my strong suits. I prefer things not moving and very still. What's up, bro? Alright, if I'm not mistaken, most of what I need for this is... The bomb. And I believe you are the elder I need to talk to. Nope, you run the inn. You are the elder I need to talk to. Sup. Who is Yunobo? Oh, man. Yunobo is the son of the great fucking Daruk. Mm. 
Dude, why does your back just randomly hurt? Fucking hat. Fucking hashtag my mood right now. Just you ever been standing there and then suddenly your back is just on fire? Yeah. Yeah, I know that feel. That was significantly more just by adding one wild berry. I have to know. Uh, what? Alright, is it just not a good idea to cook five of the same thing? Like I have been since the dawn of my playthroughs. First thing I did, because I remember when that happened too. I was like eating apples to regenerate health. And then when I learned about cooking, I'm like, <gasps> I'm cooking all of these. And I've just, I do this. Because it's like, eh, you know what? I have excess. But it sounds like I should be doing something like four of those and then one of those. And this will do like ten hearts. Alright, it does eight hearts. I'm cool with that. Okay, that's a little... What? So, if I do wild berry for peppers... No, what? Hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Which one did the eight hearts? Wild berry for peppers. Eight hearts. Wild berry for peppers. Five hearts. What the fuck changed? Someone want to run that one by me again? Hey, developers, I found a bug. Hire me, Nintendo. Please. I would be just delighted to play the next, uh, fucking Breath of the Wild 2. Gods, yes. I totally forgot I had these. I should really use these. I just four apples in that, and it's just, hey, here's full recovery. I think when it comes to cooking, whatever the first item is, that item's effect is applied. Okay. Nope. I've immediately been proven wrong on that. Full recovery plus 17. My god. Alright, we're not going to cook the gourmet meat. Gourmet meat's very good. So we're going to grab some meat. We're going to grab some salt. We're going to grab ourselves an egg. A big ass radish. And a truffle. Now I'm going to cook them all and probably kill myself. Or make a hearty salt grilled prime meat. That's the fucking title. Uh, I hate these things. I just try to think of them as honeycombs and not tryptophobia. Because I don't like them. Just no. Uh, I think we're good on most things. Alright, we got plenty of food. Oh yeah, the cobble crusher only does like 15 damage, that's right. I was gonna say, how's that doing less than what I have? It's not the super dish crusher, it's the cobble crusher. I forget whose house has the super crusher in it. Alright, um, I need to try to figure out where the hell the shrine is. I just remember being, like, up behind the village. But evidently I took the wrong path, question mark? I don't know, I, I gotta explore. Hey, old man, catch. I'll give her the ruby. You like how he responded as soon as I threw the jar and not 
as soon as the jar hit. There we go. This is the path I'm looking for. Hey, what's up? Move. The hell are you? Whatever. The Shamosa Shrine. The shrine I was dumb and completely bypassed. Came to the village, got the armor, did not get the fast travel point. I'm dumb. Oh man, a Magnesis hint. What a surprise. Oh, the swinging flames. This was actually kind of funny. Basically, it's a case of how do I get this here? Oh no. Uh, so, A, you can use a fire arrow, and B, you, you can just have a fire weapon and swing at once. Make me fucking look like a liar. Honestly, I'm surprised that didn't work. And there I, uh, yup, thought so. Just gonna say, isn't there a thing in here I have to kill? There are two things. Hey, what's up? Come fight me. Eh, yeah, why not? Same fire blade? Yes, because I threw the fire blade. That's right. Um, I guess we'll use this. Wait a minute, how much damage does this do? Oh, it's a crit guardian sword. Nice. I think I crit. What do you guys think? <laughs> Just shit on that guy. Uh oh, I was gonna say, it's playing combat music. Someone has detected me. One moment. Um. Are my comments not working? Nope, Twitch dashboard is up on my other monitor. I just have no comments at all. Either that or both of them have stopped working. I don't know. That's a potential possibility. Sit. Alright, well that makes this part easy. I thought they were all going to be very hostile. I mean, if that solves the puzzle, that's pretty easy. 
I don't expect that to be that easy. And 10 ice arrows, even better. Very nice. I mean, I don't think I want to get rid of the weapon I'm using because it's a critical hit weapon. So what do I want to drop? Fuck. Alright, so we got the fire weapon. I don't want to drop the fire spear. Or the ancient spear. Plus. Well, I mean, I have a lot of swords. So I guess we can do that. And, no, I'd rather do that. I got plenty of one-handed weapons. I don't know why that's an option. But it is. I honestly don't think there's any, like, secret here. I think we've searched everything. Not to mention my treasure sensor over there would be going off like crazy, so... I think we're good. Oh, we are not finished. I mean, yeah, I could. I don't have a second, that's the entrance. Fuck it. Alright, yeah, that is the entrance, though, so. Of course, now I have to run all the way around. So, small thing. This puzzle's called Swing and Flame. Here's the way it's supposed to work. You hit this button, you pull Magnesis, you grab one, you pull it, you move it, and then you shoot it while it's in motion. Like that. That's an option. Or I could just throw a bomb at it like I did the first one. That's also an option. That's why it's funny that you can do the complicated thing the way the game, the puzzle intends for it, but there's other solutions. I just wanted to do it the legit way to show that, eh, it's a swinging flame. Makes sense. I don't even know why the first half of the puzzle exists because there's no swinging flames. I forgot that in, in that first area, like where I used my bomb to get that down, you're supposed to actually look up and then you'll notice the lantern and you could shoot the lantern with a bow and that'll drop it and then you can loot it and all that jazz and I didn't do any of that. Alright, I need my bombs. Hey. Eat this. Dumbass. Don't worry, I'm gonna fight like four of those. Alright, four apparently became two. I remember, I remember there being a lot more. Oh, shut up. Fire in the hole. You see that lizard post that's uh, over there on that tower? Not anymore, you don't. I don't actually know where that one fires. It's 
Say. This just clears the enemies out of the area. Oh wait, that's right. I have to do the in-between shots. Basically, the in-between shots are this. There's a big old crystal right there. I need to hit it. This thing doesn't stop. Done. Yeah, the Gorons are big on their trumpets. I don't know why. I should, in all honesty, because of the amount of money I get from them. Do that. Granted, we're in a volcano, so they're going to be going ballistic at me. Because they're all over the place. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm fine. Torches, if I'm not mistaken, have unlimited durability. Well, that raises a problem. Did I time that right? Alright, close enough. How are you alive? I literally shot you with a fucking cannon. Whatever. I'll get my revenge. I think that was too soon. Yep. That one should have been spot on. Perfect. Also, there was, like, stuff in here, but we blew it up. Why do you guys feel the need to give me so many goddamn ice arrows? You know, I think I'm just gonna rock the such armor. Hope you guys like your tower. I'm taking it from you. Boom. Oh, hey. Two amber? Or whatever. I already have that, but good, tr good, good, good try. Oh, 
That, by the way, is our story objective. I wasn't just exploring, I knew where I was. And if I'm not mistaken, before we talk to our boy there, there is a Korok up on the roof. Because, you know, why the hell not, right? There is. And I'm gonna drop a rock on his head, because fuck him. Anywho. Everyone meet Garano? Durano? Oh man, oh man, oh man, what am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? <sighs> you know both. That was his name. I'm gonna call him Yuno for short. And then I'm still probably gonna even forget that. But now comes my least favorite part of the game. Hmm. <sighs> Question, if all the Hylians are gone, how does everyone know what species I am? Just... Just throwing that question out there. Huh. My name's Yunobo. Everyone calls me Yunobo. Die in a fire. You're fireproof. Die in some water. Why do you keep painkillers in a dig site? So, uh, Yunobo is the son of Daruk. Daruk is the Goron champion in all the flashbacks we had. And also, there is a giant statue of him. Which I don't think I've ever actually looked up in the Goron village for you guys to see that. So, we'll do that. far out of their arrow range but they're not out of bomb range see you oh man there it goes disconnecting my hard drive for no reason by the way my hands are off the computer like both hands thoroughly on this joystick I'm the only one in the room, no catch, no one to fuck with the cords, nothing is happening. It just randomly decides, eh, I'm not connected, eh, I'm connected, eh, I'm not connected. Alright, I've used that sledgehammer a bit, so I'm taking this one, deal with it. <laughs> that moment when you just start stealing construction equipment and the construction works are like, what the hell are you doing? And you're like, eh, deal with it. Alright, close. Comments are good? Alright. There was one thing I just realized probably got a bit fucky. Oh, hey. Huh. Evidently not. All right, cool. If anyone in the comments wants to throw in some computer repair uh, recommendations for just... Like I said, 
it's a USB hub with, with, you know, one of those, you plug it into one slot, you get four more. Um, but it just randomly decides we're not connected. Now here's the other weird thing. The USB hub in question is the Borderlands Claptrap USB hub. So whenever I actually, if I were to physically unplug it right now, it would actually do a shout out. It would actually say something in Claptrap's voice. The original Claptrap, not the, sorry, I should say Borderlands 2's Claptrap, because Borderlands 1, I think, actually had a different voice actor for Claptrap. The problem is, is so many people spent so many hours on Borderlands 2 that that's what they think is the real one, which if you go back to the first one, I think it's a different voice actor, or at least a different voice modulation. Um, but anyway, if I unplug it, it'll actually make a noise. If I plug it in, it'll actually make a noise. If I plug something into it, it'll make a noise. But it's disconnecting the USB hub and then reconnecting everything in it. And I don't know why. Because, again, if it were to actually unplug due to a cord problem, I'm pretty sure that would trigger it resetting the noise. Just, just a thought. Alright. Sorry, I had to make sure something was working on my computer. Because I was like, fuck. If my hard drive disconnected and I was transferring files onto one of the uh, solid states onto the external, that suddenly becomes a very large problem. It's being a very large problem. Ow. Thankfully, I am rather well resistant because of my armor. I should really go get the final uh, Great Fairy, now that I think about it. That might be a really smart idea. We'll do that after we uh, turn into the boss. There you are. Here's a reward for you. A fireproof elixir times three. You know, those things I already don't need. Yeah, we don't know who Daruk is, by the way. Remember how I said there's a big-ass statue and I never looked up? It's because I remembered. The game does it for me. So again, the guy in all the flashbacks. I want to know why this gives him a flashback. Because chances are this statue didn't exist when Daruk was the champion. It was Daruk's actions as champion that made him valified. Valified? Herified? I'm pretty sure valified is for villains and herified is for heroes. Point is... Let those other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. By the way, all Gorons eat rocks. Do you believe this view? Just Which raises the question, why do they live on a mountain? On those mountains. Mighty I know what you're thinking. They live on a mountain because it's a giant rock. They're going to eat it. If they've been living for generations, how is this mountain not leveled? This land of ours to they must eat like once a year. Congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal. Protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. By the way, we fail that mission. Well, actually, we die. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? Saying, Something about giving me a pound of twenties. That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. 
But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then... Especially considering we're at the top of the volcano, and I'm not seeing many rocks above us. From that far away? No way in hell the rocks got to us. I have several questions. Anyway, we now know who Daruk is. Because flashbacks. You know what, we'll do this, and then before we go into the Gerudo city, I will do the, uh, the final fairy fountain, because she's in the desert. Alright, we're just a little stuck. Pardon me. I need to get up here, so... Oh, hi. I didn't remember you guys were here. Alright, well, I'm on fire. That's a little not cool, but... It's not a red shoe jelly in it for me. And we've already actually seen this because of Hyrule Castle. Otherwise, this is your first interaction to it. Done with that. I saw the rare note and was like, eh. I'll go for it. As I say, for all intents and purposes, nothing should be able to get to me. Because... I was going to say, at least with... The th um the volcano erupting and shit. As I say, I'm under an overhang, so I should be safe. I was safe, so we're good. Alright, uh, these three are going to be needed for bosses. Uh, these two are probably also going to be needed for bosses. <sighs> yeah. I think it's time to use some spears. Granted, the fire spear is going to be absolutely useless in this area. Oh, hello. Since we're here. By the way, um, it's not going to take long to like get to the dungeon. It's normally like three quests and that's it. So like getting here, I don't think qualifies as one. Finding the sun is one. And then 
like we talk to him up here and then we do one thing and then we're in the dungeon just like the other one was like hey welcome to the village get some shock arrows cool you got shock arrows to do this thing you're in so it's actually more like two um the gerudo one is actually gonna be quite difficult okay Alright, I hit the glide button, didn't glide, that was cool. There it is. Let's say there's gotta be a chest in here somewhere. Alright, I'll take it. That's all there is to this place. Your resourcefulness speaks to your fucking... yeah. I still call bullshit on that. Monsters do not have a harder time. Well... Maybe they have a bit of a harder time, but they still find a way to see me. Always. I can never sneak up on them. It sucks. Anyhow. So now comes this annoying ass quest. Again, one of my least favorites. I didn't get the sneak attack, but eh. Good try. This must be a crit weapon. For it to have popped like that and knock him on his ass. This is definitely a crit stuff. You're crazy strong. It was two dudes. If it was like nine of them, I would let you die. Hey, what's up, fucker? His back hurts. Oh man, boss raised the bridge. Fuck, I, I don't normally would use the cannon, but boss can't fire it. Oh wait, I can. Also, um, he is for somehow also the. I I'm really tempted to just launch him into the lava, but we'll be good. Have a good trip. All right, and thankfully that's now down forever, so I don't have to worry about relying on that little asshole. 
I mean, it's an interesting change of pace, but I just feel like it was poorly implemented. The Rook's protection makes them not take damage from that. But now comes the annoying part. He is going to follow me. The problem is, is because he's going to fucking follow me, I have to be mindful of his limitations. Basically, I get to play Resident Evil 4 for just a short period of time. Which is funny because a lot of people talk about how amazing Resident Evil 4 is. I personally am not a fan of the Resident Evil games, and I just, I personally think that sitting there and doing an escort quest for the entirety of the game is just horrifying in its own right. Um, and it's just, it's m just so dumb. But that's my personal opinion. I also didn't really like, uh, what's it called? Dead Rising. Because it's just like, hey, you, you get to rescue random people. And then do an escort quest. Also, um, he cannot be spotted by mind powers. No, I'll, I'll just cut to the chase. Uh, I whistle, he stops moving. How far does that thing come? All right, we got space. He might get detected. Nope, you should be safe. I'm proud of you. So yeah, it's a case of not only do I have to worry about my own ass, I swear about his ass too. Wait up. What what do you mean wait up? We haven't moved. You might want to move. I do not want him following me while I do this. No. Right. And that's what you have to do. Why would I ever do this? I actually want to know what happens if I do this. Now now I want to know. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot him at the enemy. Oops. Good thing he, surprisingly, just launches his own ass right back to where we need him. So, convenient. And also convenient that Rudanya just sits there and does nothing. So, bam. There we go. We may have angered him just a tad. We did it! Yeah, we, we have to do that like two more times. Hope y'all like escorting this fuckwit. Because we get to do it a lot for no reason. Stay here. Don't be dumb.
You were supposed to stay up there. That's fine. That worked perfectly. I could not have asked for that to have to, to do any better. That is so surprisingly perfect. I don't know why they give us a bridge. Oh, diamond, yes. I'm ready for that Minecraft, baby. Yonobo cannot reach your location. That's actually a good catch case. Actually, you know what? We might need one of these. I'm bringing it with. Dumbass. You were the one that walked right towards it. Hey, Daru. Or, Rudanya. You mad, bro? Since we're here. Well, rip that. I was having fun with that. Oh, you have a lot of health. That's fine. Alright, let's not fuck this one up. Let's say you're gonna eventually just walk into this. This 
day. I mean, that being said, it's not overly difficult, thankfully. It's just mild annoyance. What, you think I didn't fucking hear you? I knew you were coming at me. Tried to drop a rock on one of them and ended up missing both of them. That's kind of annoying. All right. I'd much rather do the elephant minigame again. But whatever. We have weakened it by shooting a Goron at it on fire. The lizard, whose feet are on fire, and runs around a volcano that's active, was hurt with fire. Figure that one out. I, I just, I don't understand it. Also, we have angered the volcano. We haven't actually angered the volcano. We've angered the lizard. The lizard is now making room in the volcano. That was so cool. You really put a licking on that thing, Link. To be fair, to you job. did. I just it's fired so you at high velocity at it. Link's just like, fuck this. I'm out, dude. Stay here. Don't, don't be dumb. Just out of my way. That, that just. I love how Link is just like, oh, the lizard's what? In the in the heart of an active volcano? Ah, eh, fuck it, I'll just jump in. Because, you know, that makes sense. This volcano's totally not going to fill up with more molten magma and eventually drown my ass. Well, you wouldn't drown. You would burn to death long before your lungs ever filled with anything but ash. Anywho. knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back for Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. Maybe. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on. Hey, I could, or alternatively, I could not. See ya. Now see, why is it I'm allowed to sit inside this temple? And on this Zora temple, I, I had to... Well, I didn't have to. I walked up to the pad. I hit A to leave the temple. So, why didn't I... Why, why, why can't I do that inside of... Why can't I do that inside of temples? Inside of shrines? That's just, you know... Just a question I have. Um, why do I have this? Whatever. It's level three. I guess we'll use it. Fuck it, right? 
such a beautiful sword. Anywho. So we've unlocked the water temple, the fire temple, now let's unlock the air temple. to a flight range. Time to meet my least favorite character. I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. You're bird Yet people. I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. He doesn't all like being second fiddle. All have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Whoa, this is a kid's game. Unless... Not really. You think you can prove me wrong? Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. I will shish kebab you. Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh man, you mean a place where you're more comfortable than I am, so you have a home field advantage? That's so fair. It's not, you douche. So, meet the douchebag. And to be fair, though, some. Like, something that I actually came up with was an idea for a show. Like, a small animated series that was the backstory behind the champion's plights. And one of the episodes, specifically for that douchebag, is to give him some a sympathetic angle. And basically what the idea was is... He's good at archery as a kid, but he doesn't have confidence in himself. And then either his best friend or close relative gets kidnapped by bokoblins and he has to save them and he doesn't have confidence in himself so he ends up getting caught as well so that's sh you know showing a moment of weakness for his character sympathy and then script wise um he he talks with whoever he's kidnapped with and they explain that you know they they don't know if they're going to get out of it but then they they remember you know that he's got good archery, and he, you know, they're like, oh, well, if you get a bow and arrow, you should be fine. And he's like, no, I don't think I can. And they're they're trying to support him, and the point is, is that the, the friend or relative supports him and drives him on, and then he decides to finally, he gets brave, and he decides, you know what, alright, I'm going to try this. He gets the bow, he gets some arrows, and he takes out the bokoblins easy. And then, you know, it's a case of, he didn't have confidence, someone believed in him, now he has some self-confidence. And then it's a case of, Another part of it was that, you know, there's a part where he, um, something similar happens where people get kidnapped and he has to, this time though, he is actually established as like a champion, but he's still kind of iffy about that position and he's trying to save some people 
and they don't really have a lot of confidence. So he starts putting on this bravado, this I'm a badass. I can take all these guys out with one wing behind my back. Like he's got that brave type, basically the douchebag attitude he has now. But the point is, is that it shows that by him doing that around people who are afraid, they think, oh, well, if, you know, if he's got this much confidence, he must know exactly what he's doing. So by him putting on that brave face, he's actually trying to inspire those around him to not be so worried and so afraid. And then it's a good character. Just an idea. I am in no way a cartoonist. Or, or you know, but I'm, I, I like storyboarding. It's quite fun. And I'm like, hmm, how can we make this character not a douche? And that came to mind. Also, you, you like how she said go this way? She, she was pointing in that direction. But we're not going in that direction. We're going in that direction. Oh man, if only we could fast travel. That was actually not by design. I just remembered that I happened to have already done the shrine right next to the archery contest. If you befriend a dog, it may lead you to... Damn it. I forgot something important. I forgot something very important for this part. Son of a bitch. We might have to fast travel back. Do I need one cold resist or two for this place? Two. We might be able to do this with just the stamina we have. We might need more stamina. I don't know. Just because that bird, like, I, I honestly, I don't remember his name. Um, but that that main character, the, the bird champion, is everyone's least favorite character. And I just think to myself, there's no way he could have that kind of bravado without some sort of backstory. And then I thought of a backstory. So I think that's, it, it's just an idea. That's not the way I expected that box to move. Welcome to Teba. Or Teba. I don't know if they never actually say his name to my knowledge. I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You You're fixing a go. bow. Your fletching can wait. Oh, what's that? That's right. Big words. Fletching. The art of creating arrows and bows. It's not blacksmithing when it's a bow. It's fletching. Some random... <laughs> Gotta love that, too, how this guy has never met us before. We just roll up, hey, what's up? I'm gonna help you take out the Sky Beast. We're good. He's like, oh, who the fuck are you? What's your name? Um, Schmitty Warbin Yangerman Jensen. So in order to prove that I'm not a dumbass, I have to do his archery contest. <laughs> oh man, the five champions of old. Hmm. We have to use the updraft for archery skills, so strong... Now let's see what you're capable of. Five of the targets in three minutes. Go. that take me to do uh according to my stream that took 11 seconds it's as if time stopped around you when you oh man almost like that game mechanic where time stops when you aim in midair <laughs> i forgot that it regenerates your stamina you must have seen a battle or two yeah we'll be humble i've seen a few
Huh. Inside is a bow. It's a shit bow. You can keep your bow. No, my arrows won't put a dent. You're gonna need bomb arrows. Also, he gives you 20 bomb arrows for free. I'm, I'm good on the warm clothes. I don't know how I would have gotten here without being good on the warm clothes. Also, he's asking why we're doing this. Because he doesn't believe we're... He doesn't know the ancient tale of the... Oh, the hero with the Sheikah Slate's gonna save the world. We're just some dude who's offered to help. And he's like... Well, you're good with a bow. I, that's good, I guess. Sure, we'll go. And now we're just gonna, you know, fly. Also, you know how it was nighttime when we did that archery contest? Yeah. Oh, no, it is still nighttime. I actually thought they changed it to daytime. Alright, well, uh, also, we're now flying high above the map. Which would be awesome to be able to do regularly, but we can't. We have to take down its barrier. Let's go over the plant. Yeah, it's going to be I shoot the shit out of it. I I know. I, I know how to kill it. Also, be mindful of cult protection. We're fine. <laughs> Back to flight range. Dude, fuck it. I can't do this, man. <laughs> Alright, so now we do this. See ya. Oh. Oh, I need to put two in you. Alright, two each one. Well, on the bright side, that means I'm going to use a grand total of eight. I don't know why it took me that long to do that math, but... It's very hard to actually lose this because A, you're falling and hard to hit. And then B, you're rising and still hard to hit. And now I have absolutely no threats. This is all I do, by the way. I can't get too far below it or it'll uh, drop me off. I think he'll catch me if I get too low, but I, in all honesty, I've never gotten that low. So I just try to avoid that and do this. Done. Now we've unlocked the air temple. The fourth temple is actually the hardest one to get. I saved it for last on purpose. That and also Urbosa is what best waifu. Well done, Link. That thing is history. No, just the barrier. I really missed the master challenges. I might do those. Also, this guy's apparently wounded from nothing. And so he just leaves us to the temple. He's like, you know what, Link? You got this. Just, I'm, I'm hurting. My leg hurts, despite the fact that I'm flying. Okay, so that's his excuse for bailing. Despite the fact that you're flying, which uses your arms, yet your leg's been hit. I don't see how that affects your ability to fly. Alright, thumbs up. See you, see you later there, bird brain. Fucking drumstick over here. Another thing I'm a little sad about is for those that have watched Naruto, if you ever watch the backstory of Hinata, like the reason she's so timid is because, again, she has very low self-confidence. I don't know why I said again there. Anyway, the reason she's very shy and timid and doesn't really like to speak out is because of the fact that she is considered a half-blood of the fucking the Neji, uh, the Hyuga clan. There we go. Well, 
where it's a case if she's not a pure blood Huga, she, which by the way means you're a product of incest, um, she is a half blood Huga because not incest. I still hate this bird. If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. I'm gonna find you. Well, you're already dead. I can't actually taunt to kill you. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I want to kill him again. I want to summon him just to kill him. Anyway, so character development wise, like I said, uh, really cool character. In the fact that, sh like, you know, they actually show the fact that Neji treats Hinata like shit because she's considered a half-blood. And then other people treat her like shit because, again, she's not pure blood and all that shit. And that's why she's so timid is because she's lived her entire life in the shadow of her cousin and just being told you're nothing. And that's why she's so timid and doesn't like to talk too much. Paya, in this game... Has the exact same attitude, I guess we can call it, where she's also just like assassin. Um, also, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna sneak into Gerudo Town. They're never gonna see me. As long as I'm quiet, they won't detect me. Alright. Where do we wanna land? Oh, wait. I've always been detected. I don't know who detects me. I don't know how they detect me. It's just pretty much a giant hitbox. And if you get caught at all, you are immediately just captured and thrown out. Here's the funnier part. Voa are forbidden from entering. Do you understand? Never return. No, no, no. No, I, I got you. What's, what, what's your name? What's, what, what's your name? Dora? All right, um, uh, have, do you have a monkey? White? Yay high? Red boots? Talking map, singing backpack. Annoying fox with a thing on a mask trying to steal stuff. And you kind of... Oh, man. Anyway, you know what? Anyway. So, um, I'm going to get naked in front of you. And uh, you're going to deal with that. Oh, now I'm a woman. I don't know why. Also, if at any point in time you change your outfit, they will immediately throw you back out, and then you just put your outfit back on, and they immediately let you back in. So, I also, you can buy the armor here. I don't understand why. I don't know if there's another way into this town. I honestly don't. The cross-dressing thing, I think it's just adorable, so I do it every time. But it's just a case of, like, how in the fuck am I supposed to get in without it? Also, that's a secret club thing that you have to... I just know the answer. I don't think I have... Oh, wait, no, this doesn't cost any... No, yep, there's still labor in it. I hate you so much. Nope, I don't have the 800 required. Can I sell to you? Yes, buy from me. Something rare. How about the scale of a dragon? 150. 250. Diamonds are 500. Also, I have... Okay. It may have been a while since I've sold some things, so I may have a lot of money coming my way. Oops. I totally spaced on that. If I'm not mistaken, I need to save... The, uh, Topaz. I might be wrong on that. We'll find out. Uh, 
Um, let's sell 45 of them. I know what you're thinking, but, but wretched, you could turn these into the other guy for monster coins and then get absolutely nothing good. All right, you know what? We'll save the blue choo-choos and the key swings because I can give those to the guy for the coins. There's a guy that collects monster parts and he gives you a special form of currency called like dark monster coins or something. So you have to give him monster parts for monster coins and then use those coins that to buy stuff that only he can sell. Um, he can appear outside any town at night, uh, but you have to encounter him first. And he is, I believe, in the left eye of the skeleton at certain times. Um, I think we're done here. Alright, so there's those two armor sets purchased. Um, what else did I want to do? Yeah, we'll, we'll just real quick, since we already have the fast travel point here, it's not that big a deal. Where is Kakeriko Village? I'm going to buy the stealth armor set real quick. I'm just getting, like, every armor set in the game. Um, that, I actually, what time is it? Depending on how long it takes us to do this... Which it shouldn't be too incredibly hard. I don't know. We'll see. If I have enough time, I might go get the Barbarian armor set too. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, I got the helmet from one of the mazes. Which, if you give me just a hot second here. I got the helmet from the maze up here. There's also another maze right there. Which is pretty obvious if you look at the map that it's clearly a maze. And then there's also a maze down there. And I'm I'm sure you can guess what I get out of those two mazes. I did not realize I had this much money. My god. And I'm pretty sure I have every armor set in the game now. Besides the Hylian one, which I don't think does anything. Fuck it, we'll grab it. Also, it's only 60 rubies, so... It's not like this is incredibly expensive. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to grab, what was it? I, I don't remember. I can't for the life of me remember. Whatever. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> some ingredients will freeze if submerged unless in frigid regions there are a few ingredients that taste even better frozen I don't know what those ingredients are so I like this armor set it is very shit defense That being said, this armor set is slightly higher defense and upgradable, while the Gerudo armor set is not. I don't remember every side quest here. I know that there's a bunch. Hi. Oh, you have a quest. Treasure? 
You must follow the swords of the maidens to find the treasure. Dun dun dun! Oh. Whatever. We're going to a giant skeleton. Now, now we're too cold. I mean, in that case. I'm not climbing, so. Don't need the bandana. I don't know who's viewing, but hi, and feel free to leave a comment down below. And if it's Anissa, then Aishtabu. If you don't know what Aishtabu means, then you're not Anissa. You move slowly when walking, you do not get a speed reduction when you're shield surfing. Despite the fact that I'm generally just heading in a straight goddamn line. I didn't know I could attack while shield surfing, that was kinda cool. Very, very quiet. Pardon me. While I rob you, say it. <laughs> I didn't think the stealth suit was going to do me any bit of good. Due to the fact that I, it's not... Uh oh, now there's a lizard force on my path. He is still chasing me. Commendable effort. See ya! Here we are. All right, current time 9.30. I have an hour and a half left. Good, good. The current solution. I get it. It's a joke. Because current is for electrical conductivity.
Oh, don't waste those. There we go. And that's that. So I need to be cautious it doesn't get too close to me. Because if it does get too close to me, it will kill me. Sorry you. Oh, that's where the option was. What does this one do again? I think this one is a secondary. Yep. I was just gonna say. I'm pretty sure this is a hidden. I don't know why this is here. All right, I'm, I'm just saying I don't know why it's so hidden, like why it looks like it's its own alcove. Literally, that could have just moved a wall that gave us the reward, but... Eh, why not? Just take a quick second, gather my loot. And again, if I do touch that, it will electrocute me. So you gotta be kind of cautious what you touch when you're playing around with electricity, which is understandable. Oh yeah, this puzzle. I just have to get the timing right on this. Damn it. How did I do this before? I think I did this. So that's close enough. Oh, I'm dumb. I I let it go too far. Nope, you're not gonna do it either. Damn it! I had it and then I f fucked it up myself. I got impatient. Let those settle. There we go.
and puzzle solved. Kind of love how some of these puzzles, like, I don't have a full remembrance of them. I'm not just like, oh yeah, I know this exact one. It's a case of, as I play through it, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember how I did this. This is certainly one of those games where it's like they say, um, if you could play through any game with your mind wiped so you don't know anything going into it and just go back into the game, play through it for the first time again. This is definitely high up on my list of one game I would greatly enjoy going through just completely blind. That being said, there would be a lot of Google work if shit pissed me off. Also, guess where we are? That's right. We're at... Another ferry. Please note, I said there were only four in the game. So we now have all of them. Well, I haven't technically activated her yet. The air has become very hot. You'll take damage. If I can... Done. I'm just trying to get all the plants because the warm Safina here I actually really need. I have to come back here more often. Alright, so. Please listen to my story. Because, you know. I haven't uh, heard this one before. Uh, didn't this one cost two or three thousand? Alright, well, fuck you, bitch. I did not know she needed ten goddamn thousand. She can die in a fire. A very annoying fire. Whatever. We're gonna go to the one I know ain't a bitch. It's like, oh, hey, I need 50 rubies. What was the first one? 50 or 100? Something. Oh, sorry. Thwack the mic. It was like 50 or 100. I think it was 100, then 500, then 1,000, then 10,000. Bullshit. Should be 5,000. I had 5,000. I was expecting 5,000. <sighs> Fucking bitch. Cool. You know how I'm too hot? Yeah. Now I'm too cold. I might play a little bit off stream purely for the purpose of hitting nodes to get money and just go mining and killing monsters and mining and killing monsters. Or I might just sell more monster parts. Let's go to my favorite. We now have multiple new armor sets for her to upgrade. Skip cutscene because it takes too long. Because we're going to upgrade multiple things multiple times.
Wow, it needs Lizalfo's horn? That's interesting. One Lionel Horn. Oof. Yeah, I forgot how much it was required to upgrade the Barbarian set. Oh, and I'm gonna need Lionel Hooves and li uh. It's my favorite armor set in the game, but boy, God, does it take forever to upgrade that thing. I need a lot of white shoe jelly. Reasons why I wanted to get 20 of each type of jelly. Also reasons I won't sell luminous stones. This is going to require a blue nightshade. I think after that it requires like silent silent prince. Uh, no, the silent shroom and the firefly. And then after that it requires stealth fin trout and I forget what else. That being said, I don't have a lot of stealth fin trout. I got to go catch some fish. A lot of pictures of fish. And then just throw a bomb in the water. <laughs> That's a quick way to get all the fish. I mean, it is interesting that it, it makes sense that the stealth armor set has the lowest defense in the game next to the DLC and the dancer set. Because um, if you can sneak attack any of the monsters with the right weapon, you instantly kill them. If I use Edge of Duality on any sneak attack on almost anything except a boss, it is very dead. Very quick. <sighs> Reasons why I hoard monster parts. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the level 3 evolution. Because she puts a lot of care in our clothing by kissing us, question mark. Reasons why you need to loot everything you find. Oh, I'm not going to have enough for all of these. Fuck. All right, chest piece is priority here. Again, I need to catch fish. In all honesty, I could probably just 
run through like the Hylia River and just catch everything along the way. Moblin goes for this. Mm -hmm. Oh well. We'll use what we got. I mean, at this point, the Frost Armor Set is actually as good as the Knight's Armor Set. Hmm. Yup. Blue Nightshade and hmm. Sunset Firefly. So that's close. Good thing I have exactly 15 Blue Nightshade. The thing that's annoying with the fairy is that if you keep upgrading your gear and you reach the maximum upgrade you can get with everything, she just immediately says goodbye and then disappears. Which is very annoying. That being said, I will never upgrade the diamond headpiece, so she will never do that. Also, thankfully, none of these upgrades cost me any rubies at all, just the materials, which I have plenty of, so I don't care. My god, I've been upgrading shit for like 10 minutes now. <laughs> I have so much shit to upgrade, but it's just a case of once it gets out of the way, it's out of the way. Uh, mm, fuck, I don't have enough snails. Don't have enough snails. I'm close. Hmm. Hell, I don't think I have enough uh, shrooms either. Uh, yeah, I'm short by two. I... That being said, all of my stealth gear is leveled up to two, which is nice. And most of it's up to three now. Mm. Making me look like a badass ninja. Believe it. Because Naruto shows us that you don't have to dress like a ninja to be a ninja. You just gotta be a ninja. Believe it. And then you also have to buy a lot of the merchandise. Buy, buy all of the merchandise. Then you're a true ninja when you buy a bunch of shit. Alright. I think we have... Yeah, I was gonna say. We should have like one more thing to upgrade and then we're done. Finally. Because if you were a giantess, what would you do to me? <laughs> Every time! <laughs> oh, I explained in the last story about that giantess fucking thing. So I'm not going to repeat. Adios! I'm not sitting, uh, I'm not going to sit here and grind for upgrades because basically what I do, or at least what I did the first playthrough, was I literally sat here and. Um, alright, so because this is level 2 now, they're all level... Because they're at least level 2, the up the ability unlocks at level 2. So, like, the soldier gear does nothing. Which is very unfortunate. Uh, the Hylian gear, I don't think does anything either. Nope. The blue tunic is cool, but it, it's not part of any armor set, and I prefer to equip armor set. So, you might notice that having these two equipped, my frost resist is ridiculously high. Having the full set, I am now unfreezable. So even if I take a frost attack to the face, I will not turn into an ice cube. So that's cool. Uh, the stealth gear makes me hard to detect. Now also I have movement speed up at night. Oh, that one's level one. Also, I'm a luchador. When I want to be. That's what I do. As I said, do I have to take a picture of the fountain? I don't think I do. 
Alright, moving on. Um, oh, wait, actually, that's right. I was going to actually progress the storyline, finally. That thing I've been... keep getting distracted from doing. I am not equipped for this. I have several questions as to why I'm wearing gear specifically set for the mountainous region. I am now in a desert and all is safe. Hey. Don't mind me. I'm just going to change my clothes in front of you. You're going to let me in. Because that makes sense. God damn every... Fucking Gerudo in this village is just 10 out of 10. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how I, um, like, I know the password to get into the village. Not the village, the secret hideout where I bought those armor sets. You do this. You sit here and talk to them. I know they're repeating. Uh, so yeah, they're like, oh no. Get the hell away, this is a private conversation. Which is fair. And then, if you come here at night, they talk about the, uh, this, the password. And then if you stand here, you can listen to them. And then they repeat the exact same thing. But they'll go farther. Who? Top of the wall or something. I don't know. If you come here at night, though, she will uh, talk to you about... Or they'll talk to each other about the password to get into the... Uh, this one has glasses. You are extra waifu. Anyway. But, uh... What's it called? Wait, do you actually have a quest for me? I can't explain why, but I trust you for some reason. I I have video game protagonist syndrome where you're suddenly going to tell me your life's woes and give me a side quest. Oh man, temple. It reads, when the symbol of the seven find their place. Oh, fuck me. I forgot about that puzzle. Uh, that puzzle hurts me. Wait, what? Do you still have a quest for me? Nah, I, I know how to do that puzzle. Who is it that wants me to do this? I think she's up here. I have a small side quest to stop whoever is, uh... Like, they talk about melons being in the water supply it's because of this person they just sit up here eating hydro melons and then hey that's not wet i should be able to thank you hi also this is caliban the one that we're talking about being on the wall um uh, someone like i said someone asks you know why are there melons in our water supply, what the fuck? And then you step in and help. Also, I'm about to get yelled at. What's up? Also, this is a chick who writes the rumor mill books. I suppose that works. Anyway. So. Let's go meet the queen of the Gerudo. Who's like 12. Hmm. 
Riju. The only Gerudo in this town I wouldn't fuck. Nah, not the only one. There's a couple of others that are been on the too old side. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Yep, it's an erection. No, it's the Sheikah Slate. Link. Well, that's a weird name for a woman. Oh, oh all the champions died a hundred years ago. This is where you just hold up the massive sword and you'll be like, is this proof? Can I go do my fucking job now? Do I have to prove my worth? No, I, I, I gotta sit here and prove my worth. You're a vow. Hey, hey, the last horse crosses the finish line. Mm. I have to prove my worth by fucking. Oh my god. I love and hate your bodyguard. She's a bitch, but god. <laughs> God, is she a sexy bitch. Anyway, I have a side mission. Yo, what's up? I'm here in your... Oh, yeah, this is the how to... I was gonna say, this is the how to get a husband class. As I said, all Gerudo are secretly seeking what, uh, husbands. That is not the room I was hoping for. Uh, in that case, the room I'm thinking of should be... No? Alright, now I'm very confused. I thought that was the armory where I can get the weapons. This is just a side mission. What's up? Bliara sent you! Oh, Chief's heirloom. Oh, she gives me information on this quest. Yeah, I know about this quest. We're fine. Everyone listen up. Highly advise. Agreed. Offer up assistance. Consider yourself part of the unit. Uh, how good's your bow? Not good at all. And then they give me information. Oh no, they're talking about Barda. Uh, you, you, you are all sexy but useless. Moving on. Uh, the quest literally tells me where I'm supposed to go. So it's not that hard. Also... Uh, double side, yes. Uh, I could just fast travel to the Gerudo Tower and make it significantly quicker. Uh, I'm gonna grab that one shrine over there in the sandstorm, but I have to be careful because of the sandstorm. See, the problem with using ice arrows to freeze enemies in their tracks is that it only works for a few seconds. Same thing with stasis, it only works on enemies for a few seconds. Alright, what's that blue marker I have to jump to? I have to be mindful of where the hell it is now. I have to be mindful of where it is before I enter the storm more accurately so that I can see it before I end up hitting a point where I can't see anything. Although while I'm here... I have to line up this jump. Either the sandstorm has cleared itself, or I'm just too far up. 
Nope, too far up. That being said, it doesn't matter. Because I made sure to set myself up correctly this time. And I'm not going to get lost in the sandstorm. Hooray. Hello, Anish, in the comments. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Um, hope you actually got on your plane. And, like, got to the place you, ex you planned on going. Because, uh, you were saying that you were having issues with, um, an airline who shall remain nameless because of... death. Eh, good times. I could, in theory, equip an electric weapon and just hit it. I'll, I'll be good. I'm in Philadelphia at my brother's house eating dinner. Alright, well, that's cool. Good to hear. Good to hear. Oh no, I'll, I was going to say, I will make room for that beauty. Damn it, I'm dumb. That was not supposed to fall. How's this working? Oh, yeah. Th th this part's funny. I can go down there and fight them one by one, or I can just do this. They're weak to electricity, so. Death. I don't think I can actually... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I can actually do anything with those. Oh man, we're up to three people viewing. Awesome. I don't know who's here, but hi. And uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you want to chat. Because I don't mind chatting while I play. Hold up. No, 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 no. You stay there. That just is a safety in case I fall. All right. Like I don't have any notifications for when people join, so I don't know when people pop in. Pretty sure I need the uh. Yeah, I'm probably needing the. The cube for whatever the hell's up here. Oh yeah, do I need the cube? Oh, I just picked this up. This thing conducts electricity. This is absolutely ludicrous. This thing should be shocking the living hell out of me right now. Secret unlock noise. I love it. I will resist the temptation.
Hey. I know you're the solution and all that, but I want loot. Ooh, very good shield. I will, no, I will happily drop the piece of shit I have on my back for that. I popped in high. High again? Question mark? Unfortunately, now I have to wait for it to come all the way back. shoulder that popped. Oh. Your resourcefulness speaks to your fucking abilities to be a hero. Here's the spirit orb. Get the fuck out my house. Goddamn kids, get off my lawn. Like, dear God, man, you think old people are crotchety when they're in their 70s and 80s? Can you imagine how crotchety this guy is? He's been here for literally thousands of years. Like, the fuck, yo. Alright, so that's been knocked out of the park. Cool. Now I have to worry about cold. Alright, so dropped frames were uh, all in all at 0.6%, which I love that number. And if, if I can do an entire stream with less than 1%, I'm happy. And thankfully, almost every stream has been less than 1%. Uh, I've upped the bit rate, so the quality should be a tad bit better. Um... Uh, by a tad bit, I mean I've upped it by about a fourth. So instead of doing 3600 uh, kilobytes per second, it should be 4600 kilobytes per second. So that should be actually a substantial increase. Also, this quest kind of has a front door, and I'm going to ignore the shit out of it. I can't, unfortunately, enter through the back door yet. But I can skip through kind of the side door. There's supposed to be a long-winded route that you have to take to get here. And a lot of it requires just trekking through the desert. But if you go from this tower... So you did a quarter of a heart of damage. Go away, you're not a threat. Moving on. You have to go over here. But if you're actually down there, they will attack you. Oh. What is this? If you seek power untold, offer a shining blue stone. Are you serious? This is a shrine? I completely forgot this was a shrine. I mean, chances are you have to do it at night where it's actually shining. Which, I guess, makes sense, but literally this is all I do. Done. Some of these puzzles, I swear. And again, unskippable cutscene of a shrine popping out of the ground. What time is it? Mm. I guess we're going to have to get the Berserker gear later. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do this and the rest of this quest line in the 50 minutes. And then on top of that, go actually get the Berserker gear. Two bombs! What a surprise! Guess what I have? Oh, okay. I was going to say, where the fuck is the direction I have to go? And 
there a chest? Yep. Awesome. I was trying not to blow myself up there. There we go. There we go with me not being a dumb. And now it's, <gasps> you have to activate both of them. Done. Now I think comes the really complicated one. Yeah. I say, I don't think they'll both land in. I may have done this before. The point is, is you want to put them both up there so that one will keep going back and forth and the other one will keep staying there. Which, in all honesty, it was probably a very hard puzzle to design. Because the problem with the puzzle design is a case of... Huh, you have to specifically position things so that when the circular bomb is flying back and forth if you blow it up it doesn't blow up the square bomb it requires timing on the player's part but it also requires design on the creator's part to try to make sure they're not close enough to make that a common influence or a common occurrence there we go that's the right term warm safira F yeah warm safina cool So, we're fighting the Yiga clan now. The duplex bow is actually one of my favorites. If you can get a duplex bow with a damage buff, it's actually a very good bow. Also, um, you know how the Ega clan was kind of annoying before? Yeah, now they really, really hate me. Because I'm now actively fighting them. The thing I like about it is that uh, the three-shot bow is a spread bow. The duplex bow actually just fires one after another. I'll use that against bosses where necessary. These guys, not necessary. Also, the, the valley is covered with these weird-looking stones with the eye. Except, of course, the eye of the Sheikah is inversed. Basically, what it came down to was is uh, after the champions fall. And... The, um, the champion died. Or nearly died. The other four, the other four champions did, in fact, die. Um, and so they felt that, you know, because the champion had survived, that he betrayed them, I guess in some way. Basically, they hate us. Specifically Link. Not, not like they work for Ganon, they just hate Link. Because they think that we betrayed them, I think, or something like that. I might be wrong on that.
I was gonna say, some of these have chests or keys. I'm prepared for either. to the actual part. Okay, uh, first off, um, hooray mandatory stealth section. Reasons why I wanted slash needed this armor. I don't think I actually need this armor. I just really, really like having it. Also, meet Barda. The, the one that the soldiers were talking about not being able to find. Um, I believe she just kind of gets out of here. So, up until now, we have encountered the standard soldier, right? We have not encountered Senor Big, Big Buns. So, yeah, mandatory stealth section. If they see me, they will, uh, they will lock the door on me, which means that it is, and it is a mandatory stealth section. This guy's really starting to piss me off. Normally that works. There we go. They love bananas. I have no clue why. Also, do you love bananas? P.S. This is a question to the chat. I know that Anissa doesn't, but still. I just find it hilarious, because if you go over here, guess what you find? A fuckload of bananas! That being said, bananas increase your maximum attack, so... I love bananas. That and bananas are just good to eat. Hey, more topaz. Cool. <sighs> I hate this part. Link, you sack of tits. I, I did not expect Link to just drop like a rock like that. Um, if I get detected, I will be just attacked on sight by everything, by the way. They will, in, in standard terrible stealth design, if one of them detects me, they all detect me and they will kick the shit out of me. Nope, I've been detected. How are they whistling through a mask? I have many questions. Will you climb the fucking ladder? Save. 
Yeah, go ahead. Teleport up here. Teleport up here. I've been one shot, by the way. Welcome to the Yiga clan. Um, the unfortunate part as well is from this point forward, those large guys can attack us anywhere in the field. And we also have to restart the whole place. Alright, well, let's try this again with less Link instantly falling to the worst possible spot. I should just get another Amber. Or, yeah, Topaz. I knew I was getting a stone out of that. Alright, so I can't climb that. Fuck all of you, dude. You know what? I'm tired of you. Nope. Still one-shotted. How the fuck did he detect me? All I was doing was climbing a fucking ladder. Fine, we'll distract him with bananas. That's a fucking sentence. I'm real tempted to pull out the fucking three-shot bow and some bomb arrows and just fuck put an end to your ass. But unfortunately, if any of you detect me, you instantly sh fucking lock the door on me. And I instantly fucking... I don't think I can... I'm pretty sure... I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've actually done this before and specifically out of rage killed them all. And the door still stays locked. You have to leave and restart the area and it still resets all the enemies. So you get to do it all again and again, cannot get detected a single time. Alright, so grab 8 billion bananas. Grab the fucking stone. Save, because I've died twice now. I cannot save. Cool. Oh, I could be a true ninja. This is so much easier. I didn't know I can get up here. This became infinitely easier.
See ya. Alright, so we're done. I should be able to save. Fuck you. Whatever. Also, more bananas. Spoiler alert, these guys really, really like bananas. So I kind of spoiled it there with the Magnesis, sorry. But it's supposed to be a case of you go up here to get your sacred helm and you're like, Oh no, it's not here. Where do I go? What do I do? Who do I call? Not Ghostbusters, because phones don't exist. Anyway. Now comes arguably the worst boss fight in the game. Not worse as in hard, worse as in just. Ugh. Meet Koga, leader of the Yiga clan. I don't know how he sees through the mask. Uh, several questions? Alright, maybe I have that wrong. I'm willing to admit. Okay, that's also not what I do. Oh, I'm... The shield goes down. I literally shoot that, and then that drops on its head. Now he flies, for some reason. I missed. Oh, I didn't miss. Uh-oh. Go ahead, do it again. You predictable fuck. Alright, so there he's gone. He he never comes back. Almost lost his temper there. That guy who thinks he's the main villain and turns out he's not even a mini boss. All right, super sugar technique.
No one has touched it. He could easily move. He chooses not to. He is forever gone. And yes, actually he is true in that final statement that the Yiga clan can literally just appear and attack me wherever the fuck they want now. I hate this. So like, not just travelers who are like, by the way, I'm with the Yiga clan and you will die and then they randomly transform and attack me. Uh, they will legit just appear from nothingness. It's very, very annoying. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to do this. I'm dumb. Well, since I'm in very flat ground, I can do this really quickly. Hopefully. Why do some of them explode? Whatever. I need 20. I don't care how long it takes. Alright, I think I know why I'm doing this. What, what, what's going wrong, I should say. I need to specifically aim higher with my swing. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that is exactly what's wrong. Or not, because it's a case of, if you notice I'm swinging horizontally, if I swing here. Oh, no, he auto-swings. I keep forgetting that, that he'll actually target things when he swings. So it's a case of, I need to... I don't know, I was thinking maybe positioning would help with this. Either way, I'll stop at 20. Alright, we're good. Because that was more than a mild annoyance. Also, uh, we technically have completed the quest and can teleport back, but there's a thing I want to get. Never mind the fact that snow desert we're just going to move on from that fact. How? How did that miss? Whatever. We're going to get his weapon in a second anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Except for the fact that in this armor set, I'm literally unfreezable, so good try. And we're done with him. Hello, Vin... I'm trying to think how to pronounce it. Vin... Vin... Oh. I'm... Do the rules say imagination is not allowed? It fucking shouldn't. Two seconds. Is that... Call? Oh, Vendetta Calls. Okay. I think it's imagination is in. Oh god! Now, now you got me worried. <laughs> okay, it says it's not imagination. It says instigation, trolling, and insults are not allowed. Instigation is trying to start a fight. All right. Just wanted to clear that up.
So that's the rear dead. Yeah, I was gonna say imagination. I was like, no, I don't think I'd have put that. Might have been a typo. I don't know. Let me double check. <laughs> so I double checked. I do not remember this place having so many enemies. It's definitely a master mode thing. That being said, not a threat. Mild annoyance at best. So how you doing there, Vendetta? Also have to be uh, careful I don't anger the moose. Or the moose will destroy me. And that is not a joke. The moose will actually just tackle me. I think tackle's the wrong term. It's more of a headbutt. So your weapon is on fire. You might wish to seek help on that matter. Yes, we're not done for the setup. This is proving our worth on doing the uh, actual boss fight. Or the dungeon. Not actually entering the dungeon. Oh, this place. Oh, this place. Before, bring me an ice block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> Hope you're doing well there, Vendetta. The ice does not, in fact, melt unless it comes in contact with any of the fire. So I just have to not go near fire. That being said, there are moments like this where fire is in motion. There are moments like this where the fire is at the exact height I need it to be. So you have to... You have to do that. Isn't this a weapon? It is. 
But that was a 36 damage frost blade, so I will make room. Also, that weapon was about to break, so hey, double win, right? That is a very powerful frost blade. Uh, how do I want to do this? This one next for sure. Basically, you're combining two different mechanics right now. Again, I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I just know how I do it. That's what I do. I don't know if y'all have another route, another strat for doing that, but that's what I do. And puzzle solved. Have your fucking ice block. And moving on. Gotta love how that seems to work, where it's just like, oh, you have magnesis, so no matter how heavy the object is, if it is made of metal, you can lift it. <sighs> and just fucking, I imagine him just throwing buildings and shit at people. Uh, how close am I to that? Oh, I'm nowhere near where I need to be for that. Now right, we're just gonna go back. I should have hit those mining notes. A little late. Now, when it says throwing weapons do double damage, does that mean all weapons thrown do double damage? Or that things like throwing weapons, like the lizard blade that I have, will actually do double damage? And now I have to cross-dress again. Moments where you're like, God, I wish I had his body. But I don't. Y'all ready for a flashback of uh, Super Waifu Urbosa? Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Normally, we're not allowed up there, but we're allowed up there because we're the hero, I guess. There she is. Sup? I am, as you have no doubt have noticed, still but a child. They're like, what? No, you look, uh, 47 at least. Um, who, are you my mom? No. You're, you're like 12. Can you just imagine this happening? She puts on the helmet. He looks at her, gets a flashback, just stares off into the distance while he has a flashback. She's just like, uh, Link, can you answer me? Link! Nope, Link's gone. Link's in another world.
The waifu Urbosa. Ah. Well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today. Still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Urbosa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> what, what's so funny? Urbosa is best waifu. There goes Urbosa, Zelda, Paya. Will you help me? Nah. You have fun. I just wanted the sweet duds. See ya. Alright. We have to go there. do a public service here because that's going to poison your water supply. Oh, hello. What's over here? Yeah, you don't want a rusty blade in your water supply. That is not recommended. Oh yeah, this place. Wait. See, like I said, some Gerudo I would not, would not smash. Oh, we can't do that until we defeat the the, uh, the Divine Beast. Fair enough. How many of you are there? My God! Fuck all of you.
Can you give me a weapon? Alright, I'll take an arm. No. Will you destroy the head? For the love of fuck. Thank you. All of you. Die. Jeez. God, that was intense. I did not expect to spawn that many goddamn enemies at once. This weapon's better, so I don't care. Uh, we also have another forked boomerang blade. I don't have space for it. Although I do need to start using this because I have two. In all honesty, though, what I should do is instead use this one. Because this one I'll keep for the elemental effect. This one I'll use as an actual weapon. I think that, that actually makes a much better idea. What shield am I using right now? Oh, that's a 22. Alright. I don't think I've ever been in here. Robbing you. Ugh. Uh, what do we got? It's Garuda made bow, fine ornamentation, designed for hunting and warfare alike. The bow was engineered to strike distant foes. Oh. The super zoom. Even worse. No. Just, just, just no. You can have your bow. What is this, Metal Gear Solid? What the fuck? I'm kidding, I know that this ladder takes forever. Hi. Alright. We have to go sand seal surfing. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. They're, they're no different from any other bomb. Alright. So we have to sand seal surf, stay in a circle, and shoot the shit out of this dude's feet. All at once. Reminds me of the time effects from Skyward Sword. So, here's how this works. I have to stay inside the circle. And sometimes she'll do that. Alright, can you just get like really far ahead of me so I can... Alright. Alright, actually, no, I seem to have caught up to speed. 
We are now... Alright, we're moving at the same speed. Good. I don't have to worry about you leaving me in the dust or me leaving you in the dust. Which is more than likely to happen. So sand seals can just swim through this. Okay. Fucking leaving me in the dust. Whoa. We need to get in that circle or we're gonna die. Alright, finally, we're close enough. Good. So yeah, it conjures electricity at will. I need to remain inside this circle or it'll kill me. I plan to when we get fucking close enough. Alright, I need... Bomb arrows. Can we get close? Please? I really don't care about the attack, because as long as I'm inside the circle, we're good. Oh god. Ow! Bitch. I'm right next to you. You know, I'm tired of this. Done with you. I don't know why I just do that. Hello, Aerostelix. Cool name. Cool Pokemon. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you have caught me at near the end of my stream, but I do hope you will return tomorrow. I try to stream every day, same time. Um, I don't know what time it is where you are. It is currently 11 p.m., which is when I end my streams normally. And I try to stream around 7.30, 8 o'clock. I like Aerodactyl and Steelix. Both good Pokemon. Not enough appreciation on Aerodactyl. The fact that it's a rock flying actually helps nullify its weakness to electricity. Not completely, but still. So the plan for this episode, as I've said, was to set up the four temples. So I can, in the next episode, tomorrow, do all four Divine Beasts at once. Um, it's eight for me. What's your favorite Pokemon? Kofagrigus. Uh, eight o'clock for you. That's a three hour difference. So basically, I start streaming at around 4 p.m. your time. Usually. That being said, feel free to hit the follow button, and if you want to see me do the dungeons, tomorrow's episode is going to be all four Divine Beasts in one episode. Or at least as many as I can get done in three hours. Favorite is Mega Charizard X. Wow. It's a lot of people's favorite. It's a really cool one. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Novoris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. because of the shiny version. Yeah, the fact that it's like, here's Charizard. Or, more specifically, here's Charmander. Red. Shiny Charmander. Reddish orange. You're like, hmm. That's kind of annoying that it's that specific. Also, we are leaving and we're going to go do the water temple first. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm not going to do the water temple right now. I'm just going there right now. It's teal. Oh, nice. I was going to say, if I'm not mistaken, Mega Charizard X is bl the black one. And then it's a case of, like, you know, Char Charmander is red. Shiny Charmander is, like, an orangish red. Same with Charmeleon, same with Charizard. But it's when you get to the Megas that, for some reason, they're like, by the way, Charmander has been nothing but red. And then Mega Charizard is instantly black for no reason. 
Also, if I'm not mistaken, I can use the Master Sword for the entire dungeon. Because these are considered great evil. Anyway. That'll be in the next episode. Anyway. Nice meeting you there, Aerostelix. Sadly, I have to end my stream because of what time it is. But, that being said, like, uh, feel free to give me a follow. And hope to see you tomorrow. As I said, I will be streaming roughly 4 to 4.30 your time. And then into... Uh, well, 11 o'clock for me, 8 o'clock for you. Uh, but that also being said, if you want to, follow me on Twitter as well. Um, Twitter.com slash Wretched Sickness. Unfortunately, only one S at the end of Wretched Sickness because of constraints on character limit. And uh, I tend to put... Uh, I, I tend to tweet out when I start my stream or before I start my stream and then start my stream soon after that. So if you want to uh, follow me on twitch and on twitter you can hopefully join in for the next episode and i love chatting with folks so i hope to see you there but other than that it is past 11 o'clock folks i'm going to end this here but thank you all very much for joining me please as i said to steelix here feel free to like subscribe and share uh i'll make sure to watch tomorrow well thank you steelix i'll make sure to keep a lookout in the comments for you tomorrow um but yeah had fun hope you guys did too if you want to be extra generous, donation uh, links are down below. If you're on Twitch, it says to donate, click me. If you're on YouTube, it's in the description. And other than that, I just hope to see you all in the next episode. And I uh, hope that you all have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye, folks.